Hello, 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 everyone. Listen, hey, oh my gosh. I'm trying to get this done before the day is over with, but we're going to go ahead and get into Beyonce's Cowboy Carter. Can you guys believe this is her eighth album? Dangerously in Love, B-Day, I Am Sasha Fierce 4, Self-Titled, Lemonade, Renaissance. Can you believe it was a big thing, gap between Renaissance and Lemonade and Cowboy Carter? I don't know why she didn't call it Cowgirl Carter, but I guess it sounds more better with Cowboy since this is a so-called country Beyonce album. But she said that it wasn't a country album. It's a Beyonce album. I just got done listening to it. So y'all want to know what I think. When I tell y'all, I literally was like, mm -mm. I'm not going to do this. Like, I'm not, I don't want to hear no country, nothing. But guess what? I just got done listening to it. And I just want to tell y'all what I think. Y'all know how I am. I haven't did an album review in a few months. But we definitely finna get into it. It was released today, March 29, 2024. And um, let's just say, I think the album cover is very, like, creative. Like, the first one was cute renaissance, but I think this one is creative and it's self-explanatory. Uh, let me just tell y'all the songs that stood out to me. First of all, let's talk about the first song, American Requiem, Re Re you know, Rakim, however you say that, the harmonies when it first come on, smooth. It's not the best one, but it sounds good for intro. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you the songs that stuck out to me. The single 16 Carriages, which is track number three in Texas Holden, track number seven. We all know that that came out on Super Bowl Day last month. I didn't care for them. Texas Hold'em is, is a good one, but it's all right. But what stood out to me was Bodyguard. It was nice. Jolene. It was like a redo of Dolly Parton's jo uh, Jolene. I love the fact that Dolly Parton is on this album twice, including the interlude. Daughter, vocally, that song was very, very, very good. You really got to hear her singing voice in Daughter. We got uh, Most Wanted, two Most Wanted, Beyonce and Miley Cyrus. I thought that was cute and it was catchy. Uh, and it might be a hit. I think it's definitely going to get a lot of streams and downloads and listens. because Just because Miley Cyrus is on it, collaborating with Beyonce. Levi James definitely caught my attention. My, um, my really, really good friend told me this. He was already posting it, saying that, oh, I love this song. And he told me earlier, oh, I love Levi Jeans. Great minds thinking like, because this Levi Jeans, it's kind of raunchy a little bit if you listen to the lyrics, but I love that song. Flamenco is okay. I wouldn't say it's one of my top, but it's almost there. Yeah, yeah. I had to put a heart on this song because I want to get up and dance when I hear that. It's catchy. It makes you want to get up and do something, and it's creative. I, pause. Let's talk about how I really feel like these songs, some of these songs are going to get big. The the ones that are like to get up and dance to. There are some dance songs on these, but it's it's it's, how, it's more like a come on, everybody, let's get up and dance together type songs. That's what I like about this album. Because I was scared I was going to hate it. But what she used, she used her vocals on these songs. That's important. And uh, that's what a lot of artists are lacking today. And y'all know I always say that when I do these song album reviews that nobody is singing like they used to anymore. Tyrant with Dolly Parton. Catchy, I like it. Had had to add it to my playlist. Had to add it. It was very, very nice. 
Sweet Honey Bucking. Catchy, makes you, it, it, it's kind of slow throughout. Then it starts to pick up. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, hold on, baby. Like, oop, oop, oop. Like, make me want to get up. <laughs> uh, those are my favorite. The, the other ones are good. Now, let's go back to Smoke Hour with Willie Nelson. Because that guy, listening to him just sing on the track, he sounded very, very great. I love that. Overall, the album is not better than the Renaissance. <laughs> Cause did I do did I do a Renaissance album review? I know I did break my soul. I know I did it to the single, but I think I did do a, a album review to Renaissance. It's not better than Renaissance. I'm gonna tell you that much. No, but it's different for her, and I love it. So love and peace to you guys. I definitely give this album a 8.5 out of a 10. I don't give it a 10 because Beyonce has better albums than that, but I feel like the sound is fresh. It's new. And definitely I can see a tour. I know it's coming. She always do this. I can see a tour and I can I can see people getting on TikTok and literally and YouTube and literally creating dances to this stuff. Until next time, you guys, peace, love y'all, and see you next time.